Hey everyone, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health and today I want to um, teach you a little bit about dimmer switches. If you've got dimmer switches in your house, I want to physically show you the issues with dimmer switches and how that they, they dramatically increase your dirty electricity. So if you're not familiar with what dirty electricity is, it's basically an altered sine wave or it's um, harmonics outside of the 60 hertz signal. So here in the US, we run our electricity through our walls at 60 hertz. It means it goes up and down 60 cycles a second. Um, if you see this um, red line here, this red line right here, this is kind of what a sine wave would look like. This is what we want to see, a nice, smooth sine wave, meaning that our electricity is going up and down 60 cycles a second, nice and smooth. Now, um, this is the sine wave that we're seeing on the electrical wiring in this home. And so you can see that there's some jagged pieces here. Um, it gets a little bit fat. So this is physically showing you um, some dirty electricity. Relatively to the houses that I survey, this is actually a pretty clean sine wave. This looks pretty good. Again, relative to what I normally see, but of course, we want to avoid this dirty electricity as much as we possibly can because it really can impact your health significantly. In fact, I find that among my most highly sensitive clients, it's the dirty electricity field over the other fields that they react to the most aggressively. So, back to the dimmer switches. I have a little test board here um, that one of my colleagues made for me that will visually show you exactly what it looks like when I turn a dimmer switch on. So this is all plugged into the house wiring here and this oscilloscope, sorry I should have mentioned this earlier, this is an, is an oscilloscope that I use to look at the different frequencies and the amount of dirty electricity on a, on a home's wiring system. So this is the sine wave that we've got right now. We've got a little bit of dirty electricity in the background, but I'm going to turn on a light, a light bulb. I'm just gonna turn this light on and we're gonna see if that does anything. This is a regular incandescent bulb. I don't see much difference here. Um, it looks pretty much the same to me. So I'm gonna turn that light back off. Now I'm going to plug this light socket into this box here which has a dimmer on it all right and so we're going to see what it looks like when i turn that on whoops I turn it on there there we go wow you can see that's a really big difference right you see these these up and down spikes right here that is exactly what it looks like when we run into dimmer switches so oftentimes i'll be in a client's home and I'll plug in my oscilloscope and I see this right off the bat and I say, you have dimmer switches. Where are your dimmers? Let's find them. Now look what happens when I move the dimmer up and down. So it doesn't necessarily matter if it's all the way on or all the way up rather or all the way lower. It's still giving you a significant amount of dirty electricity. This is harmful. This is really harmful to your cells on a biological level. This is microsurge electrical pollution coming out into your space six to eight feet and your body does not know what to do with that it has not evolved with these frequencies so we like i said we want to avoid this at all costs you see i just turn the light off and it's gone those spikes are gone so um i just wanted to demonstrate that to you because when you see it visually it can often make it you know it, it hits home a little bit better so dimmer switches we want to avoid them at all costs what I recommend to my clients when I find dimmer switches in their home is just to get rid of them. It takes an electrician about five minutes to just take that dimmer switch off that plate and put in a regular um, on and off switch. That's the best thing you can do. One of the best things you can do to improve the health of your home because again, this dirty electricity can be a very, very significant source of electrosmog pollution. So that's basically all I wanted to show you today. I hope that you found that helpful. If you have any questions about dirty electricity or EMS in general, please leave them below. I always answer uh, everyone's questions. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. That will help me bring this information to more people 
and, and it will alert you when I put out a new video. So that's it for today. Everyone, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.